Good morning friends. My name is Adrika. Today I am going to recite the story The Case of Missing Eggs. Now I will start. Mia the token was very happy. The eggs that she had laid a couple of weeks ago were about to hatch and her all friends were coming for over for over the birthday party. She placed her nest in the center of the table and admired her six un- unhatched eggs. Just then, it was Flinto the octopus outside the door. Flinto, the party is not for another few hours, said Mia. Oh, I know, preparing for the party is a lot of work. So I thought I will help you out, replied Flinto. That's so sweet of you. You can start by arranging the table. She instructed. As he set the table, Flinto noticed that Mia had only two chairs, but she had also invited Bobo the elephant, Benji the monkey, and Mo the rabbit. Mia, he calls out. You have only two chairs, but you have four guests. Oh my! You are right. What I will do now? She asked in panic. Let's quickly go to the shop and pick some more chairs, said Flinto. So to the market they went. On their way back, they met Bobo the elephant, Benji the monkey and Mo the rabbit. Along them also was also a cat. This is my friend Fifi, said Ri, introducing the cat. I wish you had told me that you are bringing a friend along. I have bought more chairs, Mia told Benji. She was worried that all her guests do not have seats. Don't worry, I will make myself comfortable, assured Fifi. Soon the party began. A toast, said Bobo, lifting the juice glass to Mia and her six chicks. Six? But there are only four, said Mo, surprised. Panic arose everyone and started looking them for the eggs. Mia started crying. Who stole my eggs? She asked in looking in panic. We would never do that, Mia. We love you. Besides, we are herbivores, said Mo. At the same time, Flint turned to Fifi. Can you stand up? She he asked her. Me, I'm a guest here. I will never eat Mia's eggs cried Phoebe, standing up. As she, as she stood up, everyone could see pieces of broken shells where she had been sitting. How could you? I want you to leave my house right now, cried Mia. Mia, everyone stay still, shouted Flinto this, before disappearing under the table. A few seconds later, Flinto resurfaced holding two small chicks in his tentacles. Everybody let out a cry of relief. They must hatch early and rolled off from the nest, explained Flinto. I am terribly sorry for thinking you ate my eggs, Fifi. I should have thought before accusing you, apologized Mia. That's okay. Everyone make mistakes, said Fifi with a smile. Just then, the remaining eggs started to hatch and the room was filled with eager and young of, of young birds. Thank you.